Emma, what do you find to be some of the biggest challenges with working with musicians? You are a musician, um, but I'm just curious from your point of view now that you've had so much experience as a musician, professional musician and a film and grace practitioner, like what are some of the challenges that you find working with musicians? That's a good question. Um, I, I, I very much empathize with these challenges because obviously I, I am also a musician. I think one of them is getting rid of the tunnel vision uh, that when there's a problem that we should only look for the solution in that area. So if someone comes from with a bad shoulder, the amount of times when I'm like, let's look at the ribs, you're like, why would we look there? You know, you can see that, they might not say that, but you can see that in the way. So really trying to help them understand that, that it's about supporting what the hands and the head are doing through the whole skeleton. Uh, and for some people that's a, that's a journey to make. I would say that often musicians only come at crisis point. Like they, they come too late, really. You know, they, they, it's not too late, of course, but they come at a point where they've had to stop rather than coming earlier to work on uh, prevention. I guess that's one thing I would say. Um, and often in that same vein, they'll often leave once the crisis is done, but not necessarily before they've taken on enough information that they're not gonna repeat the, the same problem. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's, there's also this idea that taking time away for, from practicing the instrument is not a good thing. Whereas in fact, I, I know that every, every hour that I do Feldenkrais is, is me practicing my instrument because I refine the way that I use myself. So I come to my instrument with that much more skill, with that much more understanding of what I'm doing biomechanically, and what I'm doing emotionally, how I'm adding or, or creating tension or excess tension or, or creating problems that don't need to be there. Um, so I'd say those are the top three. Mm, mm, beautiful. 